Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video we're going to be installing an underrated Linux distro on this Dell Optiplex that I got for free. Um, I believe we have 8 gigs of RAM in here and it has a second gen i5. No GPU right now, eventually I may have one. Uh, this will probably become a Windows XP machine uh, eventually. If you do want to see that, uh, subscribe please <laughs> and let's get right into it alrighty and let me just turn the monitor on just turn on the computer it would help if I plugged it in alrighty now that I have plugged in the computer I can now turn it on um, anyway I didn't really explain too much of what I'm doing uh, today we're going to be installing Bodhi Linux it is an awesome Linux distro it's incredibly underrated it just runs so amazingly. I can't wait to show it to you in today's video. For some reason, keyboards aren't working in the front ports. They're working in the back, so it wasn't my keyboard's fault. Um, I installed Proxmox on this computer in a previous video. Um, clustered a couple of them together. Alrighty, now that I've selected Legacy Boot, it is now working, and we can boot into our installer. Uh, this monitor I have here, it doesn't. This looks super nostalgic uh, and retro-ish. Anyway. Uh, this monitor I have here, it doesn't look the greatest, but it is super nice for filming because it's there's very little glare. Alrighty, we have successfully booted up. That's pretty quick. This is a super nice looking interface here. I think so, anyway. It definitely looks pretty retro, you know, like an older operating system. Let's just jump straight into the installer here. Yeah, I mean, this uh, interface is definitely a bit of a um, personal preference thing. But I personally, I really like it. It definitely reminds me of um, some more older Linux distributions. Because um, it's based on Enlightenment, which is an older desktop environment. Um, I really hope they don't change it. I mean, they probably won't. I mean, they don't change the look of it too much. Because there's going to be a huge update soon, apparently. An issue I have noticed... Um, I'll deal with that later. Um, <laughs> anyway, an issue I've noticed is, um, uh, is that the installer takes an extremely long time to go through on SSDs, hard drives, doesn't matter, it just takes a really long time. Not sure why it does that, we'll see if it does it here, but that's just something to be aware of. Alrighty, let me just open up Gparted here and try to wipe the disk. See if we can just, uh, hopefully that works. Alrighty, that seemed to work fine. Not sure why the installer couldn't do that, but we'll see if it goes through now. Go. Install. Um, I think it's missing the install, or like, bar at the bottom that tells you how far along you are. Already, I restarted the computer, tried the installation again, and everything seems to be working properly this time. Um... I guess it had something to do with it failing the first time or something. It's like a Michael MJD video. Alrighty, the install is now completed. Um, that took a good while, but it also didn't take that that long. I don't know why just, this installer just takes so long. I do think it's kind of worth it, unless, um, in like my case, you have a ton of laptops or something you need to install a ton of things on. Um, but... This thing um, runs really well on hard drives, which is what this computer has, so we're going to see that in a second. Let me just press enter. This thing has been making a really weird high-pitched noise. I really don't know what that's about. Alright, we have booted up now. That was relatively quick, I would say. wonder if I can turn the brightness up on this monitor. I probably have it all the way down. Oh, that's on my phone, not the not the monitor. <laughs> that's on my phone. All right, we have booted in. As you can see, that was perfectly fine. And uh, it comes with Chromium by default, which Chromium is a pretty good browser. I really like Firefox, but Chrome just runs so much faster on extremely low-end hardware like this. I shouldn't say extremely. This isn't that bad. It's a second-gen i5, but you know what I mean. Alrighty, by default, the browser uses Yahoo!, which is kind of annoying and brings you to this landing page every single time, which I think is kind of unnecessary. Let us just load google.com, because nobody likes Yahoo. Yahoo? Nobody likes Yahoo? Anyway, 
Well, I'm just curious to run a speed test or something. Let's just do that. All right. Okay. Whoa. That's that's a lot. Okay. Um. Yeah. No problems there. Let's just open up the terminal. I believe HTOP is installed by default. Okay, it is not. We can just install HTOP. Updating on this distro also takes a good while for some reason. All right, whatever is making that whining noise, it is pretty annoying. I think it is the power supply or something. Don't know why it's doing that, but whatever. Alrighty, now that we have HTOP installed, we can see what's going on here. We have four cores. Oh, this still has 14 gigs of RAM. Okay, so let us just do a test here. I accidentally let Yahoo do it, but that's fine. We'll just open up Crabrave. Okay, let's just go to YouTube.com, and we will just... Actually, I should just search for my own channel, do a little bit of self-promotion. Yeah, I mean, as you can definitely see, browsing the internet on this thing, it's really good. Like, I don't even, like, wait, huh, this thing has a speaker built in. Um, anyway, I don't even, like, notice, like, it being slow. Like, it just feels just as normal as it would uh, be to just browse on the internet like my powerful computer. And obviously, 1080p, I shouldn't say obviously, but... 1080p YouTube playback it's perfectly fine yeah barely even struggling um part of this could be because of Bodhi Bodhi is a super good operating system I mean you can just see how quick this feels on this slow hard drive from like 20 years ago um you know try running Windows on a hard drive it is going to be an absolute nightmare I'm going to install a flat pack and then use a thing called Flat Hub. This is a pretty cool thing right here. It is definitely one of my favorite Linux things. Um, and we will just set add the Flat Hub repository after this installs. Alrighty, and we will just paste in adding our um, repository. And we will now install Minecraft. Alright, I mean, you know, this is on, remember, this is on a hard drive. This thing feels super fast. Very impressive. Um, let's just install Prism Launcher here using Flatpak. I have a second one of these. I might install Linux or something on that too and then use it as a media PC for like the living room or something. That would be pretty cool. But I mean, so far, like I could just use this. Like it wouldn't even be a, a hassle. It wouldn't even be a problem. This thing is really impressing uh impressing me so far can't wait to see how minecraft wants i mean this thing's got four cores i'll probably throw a gpu in this eventually this is a pretty cool computer huh six seven i'm sorry okay um anyway i've been trying for like five minutes and you're just giving me stupid errors i hate you microsoft why is it always like this every time i try to sign in it took me like four hours the last time. Seriously. Three hours later. It is like officially easier to sell the seven C's than it is to log into a Microsoft account. Um, I finally logged in now. I had to download the Microsoft Authenticator again. Or Alrighty, before we continue, I want to hear bass boosted crab rave on this uh, inbuilt speaker. <laughs> Oh, come on. Nobody wants to watch advertisements. Okay. I've never seen a... Really seen an inbuilt speaker like this before. It's pretty cool. I appreciate it. It's, like, barely usable, but it's way better than nothing. It's pretty quiet. I think I know how to change that. Dang it, it wants me to update Chrome now. Come on. Okay, let's try a different one. Okay, that one works. <laughs> oh, it didn't do anything. Oh. Oh, well. Oh, wait. It was only a 46 volume. Yes! Haha! -ha! Okay.
That's actually pretty usable though. Already I've went with 1.12 Optifine, uh, no Optifine, because 1.12.2 is the best version, you don't need to play anything else anyway. Um, so we'll just see how this runs. No Optifine, because that's too much effort, um, and it's nice to see how it runs just by default. Alright, F3. Okay. Alright. Uh, I have the settings pretty high still, so this is uh, not a bad start. Let me just turn down the render distance a bit. I'm assuming we're probably GPU limited too, so this definitely could be cheaply fixable most likely. Oh yeah, no problems. Absolutely zero problems. With the 16 gigs of RAM in this thing, we could absolutely run so many mods. Because, you know, this games like this is usually CPU bound uh, after a certain point. So yeah, this thing will have absolutely no trouble. We might as well try a modern version, and I'm going to try to join Hypixel, because that is the most intensive Minecrafty thing I've seen. So let's just do that. All right, let me just close it. Let me just close that. Let me just show you how quick this is. Hold on. That was really quick. Dang it, it wants me to update Chrome now. Come on. Okay, let's try a different one. Okay, that one works. <laughs> oh, it didn't do anything. Oh, oh well. Oh wait, it was only a 46 volume. Yes! Haha! -ha! Okay. That's actually pretty usable though. Already, I've went with 1.12 Optifine, uh, no Optifine, because 1.12.2 is the best version, you don't need to play anything else anyway. Um, so we'll just see how this runs. No Optifine, because that's too much effort, um, and it's nice to see how it runs just by default. Alright, F3. Okay. Alright. Uh, I have the settings pretty high still, so this is uh, not a bad start. Let me just turn down the render distance a bit. I'm assuming we're probably GPU limited too, so this definitely could be cheaply fixable most likely. Oh yeah, no problems. Absolutely zero problems. With the 16 gigs of RAM in this thing, we could absolutely run so many mods. Because, you know, this games like this is usually CPU bound uh, after a certain point. So yeah, this thing will have absolutely no trouble. We might as well try a modern version, and I'm going to try to join Hypixel, because that is the most intensive Minecrafty thing I've seen. So let's just do that. Alrighty, hold on. Before I do that, let me just show you how quick this is. I'm just going to open the web browser. Boom! This is on a hard drive. That was really fast. I just realized I don't think I actually played non-based to boosted crab raves. You can see how actually fine these speakers are. Like, let's... That's, that's perfectly fine! I could use that. This isn't bad at all. And, I mean, I will never plug a speaker into this computer now and just use it like this. So, not bad at all. Alright, let's give Minecraft a try. And just high pixel. I didn't change any of the settings. They might be just set to what they were. Oh. Excuse me. Oh, I didn't spell it right. That'll do it. Hi, Pixel. I think this keyboard's a little weird. There we go. Alright, in we go. Alright, uh, this is like the most intensive thing I've seen. Alright, so frame rate isn't great. Uh, let's try seeing what our settings are at. Oh, we're, we're at high settings still. Also, what the heck is going on with this menu? This, that looks so stupid. Is that how modern Minecraft is? I haven't really played with modern Minecraft, but like, is this intended behavior? What the heck? Is that like intent? That, is that a intended? Seriously? What the heck, Microsoft? What was wrong with it the way it was before? Okay, I'm gonna need to turn the volume down. Not the speaker. Not because the speaker is bad though. Okay, that's a problem. I uh, will turn that down. All right. We'll turn, let's turn that all the way down. Who needs, turn that down. Oh, cause it's set, th uh, that is the low preset? Anyway, the, how come the low preset is eight chunks? All right, 
Um, okay, let's see what's going on here. Yeah, we are getting... Okay, not bad at all. I mean, like I said, this is like the most intensive it gets. I definitely turn the render distance up a bit, because, you know, once you actually get into a game of something, frame rate will improve a bunch. Yeah, not bad at all. Perfectly fine. And like I said, no Optifine or anything. You could definitely get this better. Um... Alright, well, I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would recommend Bodhi Linux so much. This is just, this was just, besides the installer, this was just such a good experience. Um, I was planning to put XP on this, but honestly, I might just leave Bodhi. Like, this is really good. This is honestly probably one of the best operating systems I've used. I'd highly recommend giving it a try. Not sponsored. Um, anyway, <laughs> this is really nice. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!